Today we're looking at the one, the only mango eggnog. All right, what is going on, my dudes? So this new Rentra Synergy from Mangog is actually pretty good, man. Now, it's pretty good when we combine it with some other synergies as well. Now, we're going to go over that synergy, what it does, why it's good for Mangog after we go over a fight against our new punching bag, Deadpool, because Winter Soldier sucks Um, here. And we're going to go over... Mangog versus Deadpool the way that Kabam Broccoli intended him to be played, which I feel like is Mango Eggnog's biggest downfall um, because it's just not applicable most of the time, okay? But here, what we're going to do is build our rage stacks up to 10 or hatred stacks, whatever they're called. Everything is called something different in this game. So uh, five hit combos, full five hit combos is what we're doing. That's that's the strat. OK, we're going to go for a special one here to build two. OK, two of our we're not doing that. Never mind. Right. Because this is this. This is the way he's supposed to be played. Build up to 10, <laughs> build up to 10 hatred stacks. All right. And now that we have 10, we're going to bait out a special attack from Deadpool. We're going to go for a special two when he's like at a decent bit of power. There we go. Steal a lot of it. And now we're going to hold heavy. I'm going to wait for him to attack us. Boom. And we're going to go for another special two. It's going to stun him. We're going to walk up, hold heavy, bam. Now, listen, man, that in and of itself was not the worst thing, man. Mangog at rank three with suicides, which is how he's supposed to be played. He was made to be used with suicides. Comes straight from the designer's mouth. Um, It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just 60 seconds. It was 47 hits. The thing is, though, it's like, you know, are you going to want to use this get hit to do damage play style and AQ, AW, high pressure content? Usually no, right? Usually no. Also, you're going to want to dance around with the five hit combos and the special two at the right time. And then, you know, the mercy of the AI cooperation, all that stuff. Probably not, right? So what we're going to do today is look at a bit of a different rotation with a bit of a different team here. So the main synergy we're looking at today is Rintra, this is the newest one, okay? So gain a 10% attack rating per stagger on the opponent, all right? That could potentially be some decent attack rating. Let's look at the other synergies that we have along here. This one with Hawkeye. While enraged, all attacks deal a burst of energy damage equal to 6% of modified attack. So, 6% of modified attack. We're going to be getting 10% additional attack for every stagger on the defender. Um, we're also going to be getting from Black Cat, actually. Each stack of hatred grants plus 45 critical damage rating. That's hardly important, to be entirely honest, but it's definitely there. And then with Diablord, while enraged, gain 10% attack rating. So all in all, the only actual important one here is Rintra, really. Um, probably should have just done these fights with Rintra because the other ones are kind of negligible, but they're still there, right? And then they're a part of the rest of the testing in this video here. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the same fight using a different rotation with an unawakened Mangog because his sig ability is pretty decent. Um, it doesn't need to be a high sig, but what it does essentially is that each time a stagger expires, naturally, you have a 25% chance to gain one hatred, while unstoppable Mangog passively regenerates 20% of incoming hit damage. But then over here, gain 100 attack rating per hatred and gain 8.63 critical damage rating per hatred. So when you have 10 hatreds, that's plus a thousand attack, which is definitely nice to have. But you'll notice that I'm going to show you the same fight with and without the sig ability. It looks pretty similar when all of a sudden done so what we're gonna do now is we're going to be going for a lot of special ones because special ones stack up the staggers and it also pauses the enrage so very very similar rotation here except we're not going to be doing the same thing at all um but basically basically we just want to stack up those staggers man so we're going to be entering hatred you know get our hatred up to 10 very fast because you gain two from the special one i also put an armor break on him from the heavy attack so i use two hatreds because i have to be at eight hatred when i go for the special one so that way i can go into my enrage so check it out here 
Okay. Now we have some staggers and an armor break. Watch this. I get hit. I purposefully get hit because look at that fury buff. It's pretty decent. Watch the end of this hit right here. Boom. Didn't crit. Okay. Wait for it to crit. But a nice big heavy attack to finish. Do we crit here? No. We definitely crit a bunch in this video. Don't worry. But that wasn't bad, right? Now, that actually was pretty decent. One downside. One downside here is that we have to get hit while unstoppable to get that fury buff. Now, with the SIG, you instantly regenerate 20% of incoming hit damage. Also, when you're enraged, you take 50% less damage from enemy attacks and the recoil mastery. See, so definitely wants to be played with suicides here. So let's take a look again. Same fight, very similar strat but this time we're awakened. So we have more attack rating and also a little bit more sustainable as well, okay? But basically, man, instead of like backing up and, and holding heavy and doing this big special two and all that stuff, which the special two is definitely a really nice damage dealer. What I'm trying to do here is just really stacking up those, uh, those staggers. So you see with two staggers, I had a 15K crit at the end there, which is definitely not bad. So here we're not going for the heavy attack. We're going for um, the special one to enter in rage. And now he doesn't have a bar of power. I'm going to intercept after getting hit. So look, an 11K, 11K medium attack and crit. No, damn it. Okay, <laughs> heavy attack to finish it off. 27K crit and 25K burst damage. So if we look at this, right, compared to like, for example, this sort of thing where we go for the special two into the heavy attack, right? So let's look. The special two here did no damage whatsoever at all, right? So then we hold heavy here. We wait to get hit. Boom. We get the fury buff, right? And now do we crit? We do. 15k on the heavy attack which is about what we were doing on our medium attacks with the synergy team with the other rotation with a nice 45k burst. So still a 60k heavy attack, which is definitely not bad, right? But now check it out. We're going to go for another special two, this time with the fury. Each little thing is doing like 7k, 3k non crits and 4k burst damage. One crit with 7.4k, 4k burst damage. Not bad. It hits like five times, so definitely not too bad. And then we're going to go over, hold heavy again with the Fury. And it didn't crit 6.4K, 27K on the burst, right? So this is like his damage rotation. And this, this hodgepodge kind of weird special one spam get hit while unstoppable to gain the Fury kind of rotation thing that I came up with here. It feels like it's better specifically with the Rintra Synergy. So we get hit, we get the Fury, and now we're throwing 11K mediums, okay? 11K mediums, 7.5K lights, 7.5K light with four staggers, 7.7K light with five staggers. You see how that goes up. And now we're going for the special one again. We're gonna see the crit later on in the video, but when it crits, it crits really hard, man. So let's take a look here. We're gonna go for, for example, Mangog is bleed immune. He's also armor break immune. So we're going to go for biohazard, nano plague, tunnel vision, Thor. Okay. So something like Caltrops, biohazard, Mangog could be pretty decent for that. Now, Mangog on his own is decent. He's a decent champion. I have my gripes with him because I'm such a huge Thor fan that I know Mangog for being like one of Thor's most vicious villains, the only being that Odin is afraid of. The, 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 the power of the hatred of a billion beings. I just feel like he should be a lot stronger than he is. But I feel like he isn't as... There's a decent crit, wasn't even enraged. I feel like he gets a bit worse of a reputation than he does deserve, right? So now we're going to go here for the special one. Okay. We got hit just like we were doing. And we got a crit on this one, right? Let's see. There we go. 30k at the end there with six staggers. We got the Fury. We're still unstoppable and we're unblockable on special attacks, right? And we're going to just keep going like this. 15k mediums, guys. 15k. And watch, we're going to finish with the heavy attack thing, which hit pretty hard. 
hit pretty hard with the synergy. Listen, doing this method here, right? The the the, the, the Ziffin rotation. When the opportunity arises to go for the heavy attack, bait out the hit, get the fury and counter, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. 20, 29k basically, you can't get any closer to 29k than that, but five staggers and it ended up being about an 85k heavy attack there. Didn't have to go for special twos or nothing like that. You know, I feel like his special two is just like disappointment and, and every stretch of the imagination. It's so big. It's so angry. And then it's like, OK, didn't do too much damage and it hardly ever crits. So I feel like the special two man should be really punishing, even on defense. I feel like this guy is not the best defender and I feel like he should be a lot harder on, on defense. Maybe people are gonna get mad that I said that, but that's what I just, I feel like he should be, you know? I feel like, you know, Torch, Spidey 299, they just, they just destroy him, you know? But he's also very good against buffs and who's a better champion to test him out against with buffs? than the 6.2 champion. We're gonna get to that, but on the way there's a Hyperion. So I wanna see how we can do staggering an important buff, okay? Like the power gain buff, and we're not gonna do his damage rotation. We're gonna do the one that seems easier and better. And you know what, man? It kind of turns him into a five hit combo special one spam champion, right? Again, the only downside here is that you want to get hit to activate the fury, okay? That's a downside, no doubt about it. But here we got the stagger, a nice long stagger debuff, which is nice. And now watch this. We're gonna go for the special one and we're gonna purposefully get hit, okay? Watch, purposefully get hit, boom, go right in. Now, with the sig ability, when we're enraged, we're going to be regenerating 20% of that damage. And also we have a solid damage reduction, 50% of all enemy attacks while we're enraged. So look at the ending here, okay? The ending is really cool because we're kind of using the unstoppable to get an in kind of like mole man in a way. So check it out. Once we do this, we activate the fury. And now we bait out heavy attacks from this guy while we stack more staggers, okay? And we kind of regenerate the hit and it does like no damage. So that's kind of good. I mean, we finished that fight at 99% health. That's definitely kind of good, right? You gotta remember also, he probably definitely benefits from the recovery mastery, right? So that's an additional 15%, which is definitely Definitely pretty nice, right? So let's go for the 6.2 champion boss. Back when Mango Eggnog came out, I did this fight with, I think, a five star, no suicides, no nothing, right? And it was like fine. It was just long. And I was going for like, you know, kind of like his damage rotation here and there and just kind of playing it safe. Here, we're going to be doing what we've been doing. We're going to enter in rage. We have MD at three out of five, and we're going to be using our unstoppable to transform it into a fury buff and get this guy down fast and effectively while controlling the fight the entire time. OK, so I want to build up my 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 mad stacks, my angry boy stacks here, whatever. They're, I keep forgetting what they're called. Hatred stacks. We're going to go angry boy. We're going to build up to 10 angry boy stacks. And as you can see, with mystic dispersion, it is certainly helping. Now, when we enter our hatred, OK, the way that it pauses is when you do a five hit combo, it pauses. When you nullify a buff, it pauses. All right. It's gonna be a lot of buffs to nullify. Watch this, we're gonna get hit. We're purposefully getting hit there. And we're gonna stack up these staggers. We're stacking them up very high, all right? We're getting hit again on purpose. We're doing five hit combos to pause. Check this out. Boom, 27K on the end of that. We have 10, 10 of our uh, staggers up. He got the special two, bait that guy out. Don't have to worry about any of this guy's buffs here. 11K medium, right? We don't have the fury buff even during that. Going for another special one. Let's stagger more buffs, all right? We're gonna bait out a special one. I say, you know what? Let's counter with a long, heavy attack with a nice 23K burst at the end. Unfortunately, hatred ran out, but that's fine. At this point, I realized like, dude, I could be countering this guy's special one every single 
whole time, and that's going to be doing a lot of burst damage. The champion's now below 40% health. He's at zero persistent charges, and we are rolling along here again. Long charge. The longer you charge it, the more the burst damage is going to be. We are also placing armor breaks on him now, which is doing even more damage for us, which is very, very nice. We're at eight stacks of angry boy chargers going for one more and we are now enraged and look at this boom let's get hit let's get hit and let's get our fury let's get this guy down to 10 percent health and we are good to go now one big downside here is that look at this that what that wasn't a dex that wasn't a dex so his character model is so freaking large that it's hard to dex this guy, man. So I'm saying to myself, can I use the unstoppable here? I can. Now, unfortunately, my unstoppable ran out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back very easily. Um, but overall, it's just like, you know, his character model animations are fine and his hitboxes feel fine 99% of the time. But like for this one specific interaction, it's like, oh man, getting that dex, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of struggle city, man. We were, we were, we were struggling to get this one more though. Boom. We got it. Finish with a special two. Boom. Enormous, man. Enormous. So yeah, um, I, I, I dig it like this. I, I dig this, uh, this Rintra synergy for this guy. Listen, man, um, I'm not saying he's amazing now. But he's a lot better with this synergy than he is without. I'll say that, okay? He's much better with it than he is without. So if you got this guy ranked for defense already, if you got this guy ranked for battlegrounds or you want to, in the future you happen to pull Rintra, give it a little test run. You might like it. I personally adore Rintra. I'm chasing that guy very hard, my most wanted upcoming champ. And once I get him, hopefully I get him, knock on wood that I get him, then at that point, I can't imagine not ranking Mangog. My Mangog is ranked two unduped on my real Mangog, and I love Mangog. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. I really hope this guy gets buffed in the future, man. Like, put this synergy in his base kit increase the length of the of the enrage just beef up his attack even more like even like the attack in this video it just doesn't feel enough for mangog for me man that's been my gripe with him since day one when it comes to buff control this guy is honestly amazing at buff control because when you're in enrage right you have like a percent chance on every single hit to place a stagger and every single time that a buff is nullified, your hatred, angry boy stacks, and rage timer thingy is, is paused for three seconds. Um, so he's very good at controlling buffs. He has solid regen on special three as well. It's just, it, it doesn't feel like enough. And even with the synergy, it still doesn't feel like enough. So I'm hoping for a juicy mango eggnog value buff in the future, maybe a little bit of a moderate beef all of his numbers up beef all of his durations up i think that this guy deserves it he's so freaking cool he's so unique um yeah man but renter synergy makes him feel pretty good for 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 certain things at least uh but that's gonna be it for this one i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about mango eggnog's new synergy in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future synergy videos just like this coming to you in the future we'll be seeing you around